We are gathered here today in grief and anger, in solidarity and rage. We are workers for a free Palestine. We are workers for a free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free here as a trade unionist and trade union activist with other trade union activists here. We are heeding the call of Palestinian trade unions to stop arming Israel. The factory behind us is owned by Elbert Systems, an Israeli arms company, and they manufacture weapons that are being used currently to commit genocide against the Palestinians. They are made in our countries, sometimes by our fellow workers, and they're used to kill people and to commit war crimes. So Palestinian trade unions are asking us, as the labour movement, to make this stop, and we're doing our best today. We need to convince people working in these factories that this isn't a the thing they should be doing. We stand in front of this factory here, and we don't let any of the trucks in. We slow down their weapon production. We make it harder for them to commit the war crimes that they're currently committing. Since the 7th of October, over 6,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza. Over 2,700 Palestinian children have been murdered. 1.4 million internally displaced. 72 attacks on healthcare facilities. 91 dead in the West Bank. This is not a war. This is ethnic cleansing. This is genocide. We stand with the Palestinian people in their struggle for liberation. None of us are free until all of us are free. None of us are free until all of us are free. This factory is complicit in war crimes. We're here today to shut it down. Stop arming Israel. Stop arming Israel. Stop arming Israel. Stop arming Israel. We just want to like reassure you that workers in Italy who refuse to load weapons onto boats that are to be shipped to Israel to be used against the Palestinians. There are lots of groups that have been targeting the Elbit factories already. They're doing it in America, they're doing it in Australia to slow down and hopefully stop the production of weapons at Elbit systems. Everyone should come and protest whenever they can because when you're in the streets, Palestinians in the diaspora and in Palestine see that and it gives them a little hope. But more than that, we need to think about ourselves as citizens, as workers, as people in the community. We need to boycott, boycott every company that supports the Israeli occupation. We need to disinvest in the, where the companies are giving that and we need to put sanctions on. And part of that is an arms embargo. The arms embargo is the most urgent thing because it's the armaments that are killing people right now as we speak. Start organising your workplaces, join a trade union, find sympathetic people in your workplaces, organise together. If you're worried to come to protest, you're worried about getting arrested, then boycott. That's the next best thing you can do, is stop putting money in Israel's pockets. Start pushing for BDS motions, specifically target the most complicit uh, companies in, uh, in, in profiteering off the Israeli war machine. So boycotting McDonald's, boycotting Pizza Hut, boycotting Domino's, HP laptops, there are loads of others on the BDS website. National organisations such as the Palestine Solidarity Campaign and Friends of Al-Aqsa will give you some local contacts. Go on your high street, go outside the big companies that support Israel and let people know that ordinary people in this country do not support genocide. <laughs> 